Here we go. We're back on Black Ops 2. I never thought I would get back on this console for a while, at least. But I kind of forgot that we still have two more months until Black Ops 3 is released. So, yeah. Um, my friend's Xbox One sitting over there. The beta's still up right now, but I'm not even going to try to play it because I, I hate the Xbox One. So, we're going to get on Black Ops 2 and we're going to play Black Ops 2. Oh, my gosh, dude. I just remembered that I s reset my stats with Gwit. Oh, jeez. I don't even have the blister, do I? What level is it? 43 for a sniper? Oh, shoot. This is going to be bad. So, this ought to be interesting. For some reason, my nat type is strict. I don't really know what's up about that. I don't think I'll be playing that map. So today, I actually ate Chavez today. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm addicted to Chavez. It's literally like a... Why do I get these shitty maps? It's literally like a Chipotle on steroids. Like, it's better than Chipotle. I don't care what anybody says. You can get anybody who says Chipotle is the best, like, you know burrito place I bring I'll bring them to Chavez and, and I just got another shitty map I don't understand I'll bring them to Chavez and they'll blow their freaking mind why have I never been introduced to this but on my way there I've seen something really interesting and it kind of you know brought this topic up I've seen something really interesting on the way there I don't even know how to explain this but what happened was I was driving to Chavez and basically like I live on the east side of my town and I got to drive all the way to the west side and then I got to drive 15 minutes once I get on the west side and the west side of my town is basically just like you know filled with drug traffickers really like trashy white people it's just not good like that's you don't want to find yourself you know on the west side of where I live you know late at night you might you might get kidnapped or jumped or some some type of crazy shit so basically I'm driving through there it's in the middle of the day so you, I don't have anything to worry about it's in the middle of the day and basically like I'm getting ready to like get on the highway and over where <laughs> there's like there's like railroad tracks where I'm getting ready to cross and stuff and there's like two cars in front of me and I'm sitting here like thinking what the hell are they doing because they're like stopped in the middle of the road so you know, I get I get closer to the railroad tracks, and I notice there's like you know where the water you know when you get packages of water in there. One of those was like sitting in the middle of the street, and people were just driving around it. Just one thing that I like to do a day is do something you know, just kind of either clean up something around you know in the road or help somebody out with money or just buy someone food or I try to do something for someone at least one time a day. You know, give back or you know if someone needs help. I help them out. That's what I do. At least once a day I try to do that. So I seen people, you know, just driving past this box of water. I just see them driving past it, not, you know, pulling over and picking it picking it up or anything. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pull over. There's nobody behind me. I'm gonna pull over and pick it up. I pull over on the side of the road, barely. I'm still in the middle of the road. I open my door. Okay, you're not gonna believe what I seen. I open my door. I bend down to pick up this case of water. There's no water bottles in there. No water bottles whatsoever. <laughs> it's full of unfried chicken. All, <laughs> all of it was unfried chicken. And I picked it up and I looked at it and I looked at the guys in front of me and they were dying laughing. They were just, they were cracking up and they were pulling away. And it's just unfried chicken. And I was just like, what the hell? So I dropped it, closed my door. I didn't even pick it up. I didn't even do my good thing that day. I just dropped it, closed my door, and I pulled off. I felt really embarrassed about it because those guys, those guys probably seen what it was, and they were like, oh, this, this dude behind us is going to pick up this, this water bag full of fried chicken. It was literally unfried chicken. I mean, it was on the west side, so, like, when I, I was like, oh, okay, I'll just drop that. I need to go wash my hands here in a second. But it's just something you don't see every day. Now, when I was thinking about that, as you can tell by the title is, I end up quitting my job. Now you guys will be like, oh my god, BLS, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? Are you going to be doing YouTube? No, I'm not going to be doing YouTube. I'm still trying to find a job with my degree. I don't even know where my degree is at. It's probably just sitting there, sitting downstairs collecting dust or something. But I'm trying to get a job with my degree, which, which means I'll probably end up moving out of state. That's probably what it actually means. Now, it shouldn't affect my YouTube at all, like literally. I should still be doing YouTube and uploading videos, and then eventually, you know, 
if I get like a really good job, I'll have money to actually buy a computer and I can stream, guys. What do you think about that? No, but that's going to be one of my first purchases when I actually do like get a good paying job is get a new computer. They just, it's just a necessity that I need to do YouTube and live stream. My next investment will probably be one of those damn hoverboards. Those things are cool as hell. I'd probably end up getting fat because I never walk around. I'd be driving on that thing all day. Sell my car and everything. Just drive around on that. Go to work in that. Go to Walmart. Go to the store. Just, just go everywhere on that thing. Anyway, so I quit my job. Um, you know, I gave them the two weeks notice. I did it like professionally. I really like, you know, working there just because all my friends work there and stuff. And I'm going to miss it, but I'm still going to see my friends that I, you know, that I worked there with and stuff like that that and when we work there we all have like we all have our like separate positions that we work we have two cooks two or three cooks we have two cutout guys which cutout is guys the they get the pizzas out of the oven and then they like prep it for the waitresses to take out those are the cutout guys and then there's a wing guy there's one get one wing guy and he's he makes the you know boneless bone or like bone in boneless wings and then he also makes like uh, waffle fries, fried pickles. You know, he deals with the fryer. That's what he does. And it's my buddy Drew. You might have seen him in a couple of my videos. He used to be Jig. It's Jake who's the uh, the actual uh, wing guy. Well, we're sitting here and it's like a late busy Friday night. This is really, this is, <laughs> this is horrible. I shouldn't be saying this. And he's putting wings in. He's picking them out, throwing them in the fryer. And he legitimately finds the, a huge, huge leg. And when he's showing us, he's like, guys, check this out. Check this leg out. I was shaking out. It's bigger than my phone. Look how big it is compared to my head. The leg was bigger than my phone. So we're looking at this leg and and his he gives it he gives it to somebody and when the when his he takes his hand off of it, I shit you not, a feather. A fe a feather hanging out of the leg was still was it was still in the leg. It's like they forgot to pluck the last feather. We immediately went and told our manager, we were like, hey, look at this. This chicken wing is from like an ostrich and it's still got the feather hanging out of it. Like the feather was about the same size as the chicken wing. It was like literally like this big and like this big around and it had like, it had like a feather sticking out of it just like this. Like imagine this was the chicken wing, this was the feather sticking out of it. Now I don't know how many of you like work at restaurants, but I don't see that every day. So our manager ended up saying it's normal for that to happen. Normal. So next time you go to B-dubs and you get traditional wings, make sure you check that you're not eating a feather and you're actually eating meat. What? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video and you would like more stories like this, I have quite a bit of stories that I can actually tell you guys. You guys might enjoy that. Also, I'm going to think about, you know, renting some games for the PS4. If you guys want me to play any, like, any games for the PS4, let me know. Because it's a really great console, and I need to buy some more games for it. So just let me know down in the comment section below. But if you enjoyed this, make sure you drop a like. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you go follow me on Twitter. But this has been your boy, BLS. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. But I'm out. Peace.